Hello guys. Welcome back to Architutors. In this Grasshopper tutorial we will create a parametric facade design using Lunchbox plugin. Let's begin. First let's start with creating a curve in Rhino. That will be our base curve that we will use to sweep our geometry around. You can alter the shape of the curve by changing the vertices on the curve. If you're keen in watching more of such videos and upcoming tutorials on Grasshopper and Rhino then make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon for all the updates. Your viewership means awful a lot to us. Now let's start Grasshopper. Double click and add curve component. Right click and set the curve we create earlier in Rhino. Add perpendicular frames component to set number of planes on the curve. Add number slider for number of planes value. Enter rotate component that we will use to add rotation or an angle to the polygons we're about to set on the planes. Add range component and domain will be the angle we want the planes to rotate. That is the angle variation from first to the last plane. There's 21 values defined for range output right now. We can remove the minus 1 value by adding cull index component. Add Radiance component. Add Multiplication component that we can use to multiply the range value. Now we can insert the Polygon component. We can define the radius and number of sides for the polygon. Now that we have set the polygon around the curve, add loft to make it into a 3D geometry in Grasshopper.
we can manipulate number slider for polygon shape and the range for rotation of the volume. Add deconstruct prep so we can segregate the faces from the geometry. Insert diamond panels component that is the part of lunchbox plugin. Change the UV values by adding number sliders. For now the geometry forming triangles and geometry forming diamonds are separate. Let's merge them into a single geometry. Add the panel frames component to create geometry into panels. Now let's work on introducing an attractor point into this grasshopper script that will let us manipulate the geometry into more parametric facade with diverging panels. Add area component and pull point component. Add point component. Right click and set one point in Rhino interface. Insert remap number and bounds component. Add construct domain component. Extract the geometry from frame and panel output. As you can see, now we're starting to see the results of this script in Grasshopper Preview. This is how parametric frame geometry looks in Rhino. We can manipulate it by changing the position of the attractor point and also by changing the curve.
You can change the polygon shape and radius or maybe the rotation in Grasshopper to get different results. Insert custom preview or metallic preview component to set the grasshopper geometry preview in Rhino. At last we can bake the geometry into Rhinoceros. If you're keen in watching more of such videos and upcoming tutorials on Grasshopper and Rhino, then make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell icon for all the updates. Thank you for watching. See you next time.